Chat Town, yeah, I love my city, man. A lot of things about my city I don't understand. At times I be want to leave, I can't stand it. Hey, we live, Chattanooga, Tennessee. This your man, Universal King. We have the vigil for Kiosha. She's a young female who was hit by an innocent bullet uh, about two months ago, right here in Chattanooga on Bennett Street. So we came out today to do a vigil, kind of prayer with her, with the community. So, um, and this is what we here for City TV 100 and uh, Universal BMK. You know, we did a uh, fundraising we support the cause too so but we just wanted to show you know how the community come together for this event so right now I guess the question is how can we get preventative we know it's a lot of issues going around with gangs or the kids have no role models or whatever but I guess now we I'm tired of coming together at the events after somebody get hurt we need to start, you know, being actually really preventive and not just kind of preaching to the choir. So, in a way, we're just going to show you some footage. And uh, if you got any ideas or solutions, you can hit me up at universal at gmail.com. U-N-A-V-E-R-S-O-U-L at gmail.com. We out. What brings you out today to the community, sir? For us, for Kiosha. Kiosha. What actually happened to you, Kiosha? I, I ain't got the full story. You know exactly what happened. My understanding is that she got in a crossfire with somebody shooting one another for his games, and Game. she got in a crossfire. Okay, in a crossfire. Okay. Do you think Chattanooga is more preventive or more reactive to incidents like I think this? Now we're in the process of being more preventive. Now, uh -huh. now, okay. Also, what do you think the city has to do? to get those younger kids more, I guess more. I think it has to be the community. It, community. it really has to be the community. Actually come together, not talk about it. Mm -hmm, exactly. Actually come together. Community means school, police, jurisdiction, just it means community of the people. I mean, grandmother, it's, mother, father, black, white, Hispanic. Mm -hmm. It needs all of us coming together as a whole to fight against this crime. Okay. So it's all over the city, it's all over the county. Okay then. All right, we want to thank you for your support and coming out and uh, we hopefully we get what we'll actually brings you out here to the community today. Oh, I mean, the community brought me out. The community had an incident where Kiosha Ford was shot. She's in a vegetative state because mm -hmm. of gang violence. Okay. You know, and Kiosha's a tragedy, just like the young men who were lured into gangs mm -hmm. are also a tragedy. So, what brought me out today was just the, the clear call of something that needed attention. Okay. So I checked with uh, Pastor Adams, mm -hmm. let him know kind of, you know, what the situation was, what we needed. He was like, yeah, he was absolutely on board. It started at all of it 13 days ago. Okay. And, you know, 13 days from then, which is today, mm -hmm. we were able to give uh, Kiosha's mom a check for $13,000 to help okay. her medical expenses. And, and that's good. And I saw that in the paper. And I know you, uh, the gang, gang task force is trying to get the gangs, I guess, uncontrolled. You think Chattanooga, you think we need to be more preventive or we always 
retroactive. Hey. I know at the time of incident happened, everybody come out, but yeah, this is what everyone needs to understand about that. that. Mm -hmm. It takes everything. There's some folks out there that say we just need to lock up gang members. Mm -hmm. There's some folks out there that say we just need to catch him early and that's it. Mm -hmm. Guess what's going to take? Was that everything? Everything. It's going to okay. take reaching out to the kids early, teach them something special about themselves, mm -hmm. giving them some type of positive male mentor, exactly, uh, giving them some reason to believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. It means reaching into the gangs themselves trying to find those gang members that haven't wrecked their lives yet. Mm -hmm. You know, gang members will tell you gangs are dead in the street. But, you know, the, the problem is that they're usually sitting in federal prison by that time. It's too yeah. late. We okay. need to save the ones that are out there. Mm -hmm. And there are some that won't accept that outreach, you know, and that unfortunately the only thing that's left is the suppression part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, but it takes everything. It takes everything. I yeah. agree with that. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, we live right here to City TV 100. And hopefully. All right, we live right here to City TV 100. I'm here with uh, Pastor Miles, a, a local uh, pastor right here in Chattanooga. What brings you out uh, today, sir? Man, I just, I love this community. I'm about serving. Mm -hmm. I think it's time for the church to come outside the four walls, mm -hmm. man. Okay. We can't expect everybody to come to us, and Jesus never told us to wait for him to come to us but he told us to go okay so when i see somebody in need hurt and i don't care who it is exactly you know, i'm gonna be down with him trying to get out here and make a difference and that's a good idea you know a lot of people like i said the, the church i mean i ain't i said look at the bad way but it's like a lot of people preaching to the choir but it's good for the yeah. church to be able to come out and, you know and get you know reach these kids that's not in church because exactly. if you're talking to the same people in church and the gang members are out here not in church how is it really reaching them so what you think we can do better i guess at chattanooga is really getting to catching them teens early and getting them back kind of in church you know the thing the sentiment the guys like yourself man what you're doing here mm -hmm. is powerful but it's going to take all of us mm -hmm. you know i can't reach certain people exactly. but you can mm -hmm. you can reach some people i can't so when all when the whole city mm -hmm. gets involved and, okay. and consider it a responsibility of the city at large i think then and only then will we make a major difference okay you think we sh we can do more preventive ideas and, and just a lot of retro you know i think chattanooga we move as after an event don't happen then it seems like we come yeah. together but you think we can get more forms of all this community pre and get up you know some solutions we need to. how you think we can come up with something you know like that to get a lot of kids, pre yeah. kids don't have a, a, a lot uh in this city yeah a lot to be offered when i was growing up you had the recreation exactly centers, yeah man. you know i knew mr joe johnson yeah i remember yeah yeah, Center, yeah, yeah you know, definitely Glenwood. i know oh, miss jackie okay so, little miss jackie so, I know know those I people kind of raising mm -hmm. us and now i see you know we've been in more and more soccer fields and that's good but, mm -hmm. but at the same time you know we see our gyms being locked and, and falling down yeah so we got to get these kids an alternative get some mentors out there that's okay. what they need more than anything else because without the, uh, with the absence of the father now exactly. in the community we don't get some strong men some strong mentors out mm -hmm. there that we're never going to be able to turn yeah. this thing around yeah and that's true and we know that and we've been preaching that and we see more you know black african American men going yeah. to, going to jail and i guess i don't know when the cycle going to stop but i guess it's when is it gonna start? You know, cause we we know we need more positive black males and like a yeah. telling the gang tap. They're making money, they don't care at the Cancun. They just watch us kill each other like some playing fools. Now man, like man, where the leaders at? It's a church on every corner where the preachers at. Where the parents, where the counselors, where the teachers at? At home shaking their head, talking, just watching it. How many must die until we make a stand? It's only more we gon' lose until we.